Welcome back to the LeMay Center's Doctrine Education Series. This video will help visualize the concept of Agile Combat Employment, or ACE. Straight from Air Force Doctrine Note 1-21, ACE is defined as a proactive and reactive operational scheme of maneuver executed within threat timelines to increase survivability while generating combat power. To unpack these concepts, first, we will provide the big picture of the different terms, moving parts, and places involved in ACE, and then we will walk through the different phases of ACE. Let's go over the big picture. This is a busy slide, but we'll cover it left to right and first provide a broad overview of the main components of ACE. On the left side, the Air Operations Center utilizes Mission Command to exercise command and control, such as issuing mission type orders. For more information, see our Mission Command video. Here, you can see high value airborne assets and strategic airlift, both intra and inter theater. Logistics serves a critical role in executing ACE. Strike aircraft also flow from home station to forward enduring locations or main operating bases. As we go right, you have the top and bottom main operating bases functioning as air expeditionary wings. In ACE, we must remember that all bases are fighting positions, not sanctuaries. These main operating bases will have multiple contingency locations or forward operating sites which are typically closer to the fight and rely more on logistical support. They are signified by the green huts. Depending on the operational situation, forces will flow back and forth from main and forward sites, relying on airlift and logistical flows. In a perfect scenario, all of these are covered by air and missile defense, typically provided by the Army. It's important to note that ACE is a joint effort and is inherently part of joint all-domain operations. All the services have supporting and supported roles in ACE. All the way on the right is the adversary's territory, which is where the bulk of the threats are located. That is the overall picture of a battle space. Now that we have the big picture, let's step through the phases of ACE. As mentioned, ACE refers to a scheme of maneuver, so let's break down what this entails. Phase 1 involves setting the theater. We call this posture, and it is tied to all other elements of ACE as the starting point. We do this well ahead of need, ideally during the competition phase. It involves pre-positioning war reserve material. Forward operating sites are identified and ready to be sustained through agreements with host nations. In phase two, some kind of political or security trigger compels us to maneuver our forces from home station and from our enduring locations to disperse to our contingency locations or forward operating sites. Again, this is proactive and serves to both deter our adversary and assure our allies and partners. As our scenario progresses into armed conflict, certain threats have triggered us into reactive ACE in Phase 3. In order to survive and then regenerate, we disperse from our contingency or enduring locations that are under attack. The goal of ACE is to complicate the adversary's targeting solution and at the same time, in the next phase, mass forces from the dispersed locations to take the fight to our adversary. This is intended to be effective, not necessarily efficient, and will require innovative logistics to meet operational needs and boost our resilience. Finally, the last phase involves recovery and sustainment. This involves fixing airfields rapidly and maintaining and fixing our aircraft, whether they're code one or battle damaged. And we continue taking the fight to our adversary by generating combat air power to fly, fight, and win. This is an all-hands fight, and every phase relies on the skills, expertise, and innovation of multi-capable airmen. To sum up, when applied correctly, ACE complicates the enemy's targeting process, creates political and operational dilemmas for the enemy, and creates flexibility for friendly forces. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helped you to better understand the concepts of agile combat employment 
and what it requires for success when confronting a near-peer adversary. Please be sure to check out our website for all our doctrine publications, doctor notes, additional videos, and our new podcast series.